Hello there, I'm Dina and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be opening six Evolutions X and Y booster packs. Usually I buy um, the cards online, but decided to get some in the store today. And that's why I usually go for like um, booster boxes or like elite trainer boxes and stuff. Uh, because I buy them on Amazon, but I don't know. I thought it would be cool to go and get some individual packs and try my luck that way. Also, um, I have quite a few <laughs> energy cards and, uh, you know, little di dice and uh, coins at this stage from all the Elite Trainer boxes, so figured I would just go for pure cards this time. So we've got five Charizard outer uh, art pack things and uh, one Raichu cover artwork. When the guy gave uh, these to me because they were like behind the counter, he was like, oh, sorry, they're not all Charizards. And I was like, that's okay. I like Raichu. But the funny thing is uh, on the inside, the artwork is different usually, so it doesn't always match what's on the outside. Let's get started with this Charizard one right here. Probably tired of me talking about them and just want to see what's inside. <laughs> and I'm not going to open these very gracefully, am I? Oh well. I guess uh, let you look at the back there as well. So it's got over a hundred cards in this uh, expansion, I guess you'd say. And we've got Mega Blastoise as the first inner artwork, if you want to call it that. The Pokemon Legacy Evolves. All trainers and Pokemon grow and evolve. And this expansion restores the very first Pokemon trading cards to glory. With the exhilarating power of Mega Venusaur EX, Mega Charizard EX, and Mega Blastoise EX, plus some wild surprises like Dragonite EX, Ninetales Break, Machamp Break, and Mega Slowpo Slowbro EX, ugh, the classic hard battling Pokemon and old school trainers are reinvented for a new generation. Ask Professor Oak to get you started and reach new heights with the Pokemon TCG XY Evolutions expansion. So, apparently there are some of the original artwork cards, oh, there we go, like Caterpie, but they're uh, updated with attacks that are more competitive for the uh, modern version of the game. Oh, and is there something? Wow, are we starting this off already with, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, pace ourselves here. So first up we have a Caterpie, 40 HP. I have a ton of these guys uh, from the original series, and I believe it had this string shot and 10 damage and, you know, flip coin. Heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed, just like the uh, old one. And it says, it is covered with a green skin. When it grows, it sheds its skin, covers itself with silk, and becomes a cocoon. Next up, we have a Polylag, 60 HP this time. Water Gun for 30 damage, wow. It used to be a uh, Water Gun for 10, and then you could add on the uh, extra energy cards up to 30, but this one, they're just giving you 30 straight away for two energy cards. Interesting. Its slick black skin is thin and damp. A part of its internal organs can be seen through the skin as a spiral pattern. Interesting. Though, uh, I do believe that's a uh, blue skin. It looked, um, a lot darker in the sprite of the original games, though, so maybe that's what they're referring to. And Pikachu! So cute! 60 HP, again, instead of 40. We've got Gnaw and Thunder Jolt, which I think are the same as, uh, originally. It says it has small electric sacs on both its cheeks. If threatened, it loses electric charges from the sacs. 
Oh, looses. Like, I guess let's loose. <laughs> I always liked this uh, Pikachu artwork. It's kind of cute how uh, it's like in pastels and then the little tips of his ears are purple and markings. Chubby Choo, yeah! Bring back Chubby Choo. None of the uh, skinny current one. <laughs> We've got Ponyta, 60 HP, Smash Kick, and Flame Tail. Its body is light, its legs are incredibly powerful. It can clear Ayer's rock in one leap. Well, okay. So, it looks like it's gone the CG background. I, li I liked in the old cards how some would be like CG and then the others would be really old, like pastel or watercolor style. Made for a cool combination. And Nidoram Boy, 60 HP here. Double stab, 10 times, flip two coins, attack does 10 damage times the number of heads. Again, super watercolor looking artwork. Its large ears are flapped like wings when it's listening to distant sounds. It extends toxic barbs when angered. Hmm. And you can actually see in the corner here the ones that are done by Ken Sugimori. <laughs> I liked his uh, art style quite a bit. First item up here with the shine going on, we've got Pidgeot Spirit Link. Pokemon Tool. Attach a Pokemon Tool to one of your Pokemon that doesn't already have a Pokemon Tool attached to it. Your turn does not end if the Pokemon this card is attached to becomes Mega Pidgeot EX. It's really cool hollow pattern with the like rainbow effect that I hope the camera is getting. <laughs> And are you ready for our first crazy one? Whoa, it's a Dragonite EX! That's so cool! Oh man, talk about Rainbow Hollow, look at that! Awesome! I don't have very many Dragonite, or any at all, I think, so definitely wanted to pull this one when I read that off the back of the uh, card pack. This Dragonite EX has 180 HP, an ability called Pull Up. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may put two basic Pokemon, except for Dragonite EX, from your discard pile into your hand. And then for four colorless energy, we have Hyper Beam, 130. Discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Wow, that's cool. And I guess I don't even have to wait a turn like a usual Hyper Beam. That's cool. He could be fully powered up in just two turns with the double colorless energies. Wow, that's awesome. And this is number 72 out of 108. Good to know. Oh yeah, I'll put these shiny guys in a special spot back here. And we've got Misty's Determination, the supporter card. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, look at the top eight cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. <laughs> and then we have like a combination uh, English and Japanese card. Look at that. Executor, 80 HP. And I believe that's nuts. <laughs> Natsu. Because he's like coconuts. Everybody was always like, whoa, why is it, you know, is it eggs? Is it, what is he, a palm tree? But yeah, coconuts. Nuts. Coconut Pokemon. So, we have Fumitsuke, which is Stompu. <laughs> 20 plus. Flip a coin, if heads, this attack does 10 more damage. <laughs> so we've got a resistance to fire. Interesting, because he's grass type. I always think it's interesting whether they decide to make him grass or psychic or what have you. And Maintenance have quite a few of these cards, you know, prior to opening <laughs> this series. Shuffle two cards from your hand into your deck. If you can't shuffle two cards into your deck, you can't play this card, then draw a card. And 
I'm going to give out the TCG online cards just as you want to take it go ahead and scan it but uh let people know in the comments which one you're taking so that uh you know not everybody keeps trying to take them so this is number one if you've taken this one let us know in the comments and that was a pretty good first pack wouldn't you say all right Let's see if we can do as well with the second one here Focus, please. There we go. And uh, I'm not sure how I feel about these outer, you know, cardboardy type pack things. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a lot of extra waste, but I don't know. Is it to like protect the cards or like prevent people from weighing the packs to like know what's in them? I don't know. I guess they do make for some nice extra noises though. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like glued in there. <laughs> so now we have Mega Venusaur EX, I assume. I don't really usually like Venusaur much, but he looks kind of cool here. Probably because he doesn't look so, like, tired and froggy as they sometimes make him. We've got Onyx, 100 HP compared to, I believe, 90 originally. We've got Harden. During your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon would be damaged by an attack, prevent that attack's damage done to this Pokemon if that damage is 60 or less compared to, I believe, 30 in the original. Rock Throw for 40. And it says, it usually lives underground. It searches for food while boring its way through the ground at 50 miles per hour. Hmm, impressive. More Kim Sugimori art. Ah, and a fairy energy. Voltorb, 60 HP instead of 40. We've got Continuous Tumble for 10 times. Flip a coin until you get Tails. This attack does 10 damage times the number of heads. A life form whose identity is unknown. It is said to screech or suddenly self-destruct. I don't know about you, but I never really used self-destruct or um, explosion in the games. I thought it was kind of a waste. But yeah. Tangela, 80 HP, bind for 20 damage, flip a coin. If heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Poison powder for 30. Your opponent's Pokemon or your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. It says, blue plant vines cloak the Pokemon's identity in a tangled mass. It entangles anything that gets close. I guess they are blue, aren't they? I always thought it was kind of like a dark green, blue, foresty type color. <laughs> and we've got another polyweb. Ooh, a reverse hollow Growlithe. 70 HP, hind kick for 10. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. I do not believe it had hind kick. I, that does not sound familiar at all. I think it just had ember or something. And then flare for 20. Very friendly and faithful to people. It will try to repel enemies by barking and biting. More Ken Sugimori art. We've got a Mewtwo! It's not hollow, but it sure is cool. Oh, check it out. Check out Mewtwo. So, this Mewtwo has 130 HP. 
it's called a genetic Pokemon. Got 20 plus Psychic. This attack does 20 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. We've also got Barrier. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all attacks, all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon. If one of your Pokemon used Barrier during your last turn, this attack can't be used. A Pokemon whose genetic code was repeatedly combined for research, or recombined for research, it turned vicious as a result. I can imagine. So here we have Potion, heal 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. And Pokedex. Look at the top five cards of your deck and put them back in any order. Oh, we've got a Poliwhirl. 80 HP. Amnesia is the first attack here for 30. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks. That Pokemon can't use that attack during your opponent's next turn. Pretty useful considering, you know, most Pokemon only have like two attacks or even just one. Double slap 50 times. Flip two coins. This attack does 50 damage times the number of heads. And it says, its two legs are well developed. Even though it can live on the ground, it prefers living in water. Okay. And this is online code card number two. Let me know if you get anything good from it. And uh, if you take this one, go ahead and put it in the comments. Try to only take one so that other people <laughs> can get some too, you know? Again, I, I just give them away because I never really got into the uh, online game. Though, interestingly enough, I now play Hearthstone, so yeah. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll give the TCG Online another shot. In this time we have a Charizard out of a Charizard pack. Or I guess Mega Charizard, but you know what I mean. Alright. What do you think? have something good for us. I don't know how we can top a uh, <laughs> EX Dragonite and uh, me too already, but let's find out. I definitely enjoy a Blastoise. That original Rain Dance deck combo awesomeness. Yeah. Or maybe some of the legendary birds if they're in here. Vulpix, 60 HP, Confuse Ray for 20 damage. Flip a coin, if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. While young, it has six gorgeous tails. When it grows, several new tails are sprouted. And then it becomes nine tails. Ooh, dark energy. Definitely not included in the uh, original set. Magikarp. Still 30 HP, aw, oh, too bad. And Flail. This attack does 10 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. So same as originally. <laughs> oh, so sad. It is virtually worthless in terms of both power and speed. It is the most weak and pathetic Pokemon in the world. <laughs> oh, Sorry, buddy. Maybe one day you'll uh, grow up to be a nice Gyarados. It's too bad that they call this one Magikarp because uh, it's a Japanese name is Koi King because he's like a koi but also he's got like the crown like a king but yeah jeez there was another set that was calling it pathetic recently too wasn't there now we've got Weedle 40 HP and Poison Thing for 10 flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned often found in forests and grasslands, and has a sharp, toxic barb of around two inches on top of its head. I like the uh, textured paper in this artwork. Looks pretty cool. Ooh, Electabuzz. I used this guy quite a bit when I was playing with my friends in college. Pretty good for, you know, the base set. 
that HP combined with, you know, an ability to uh, paralyze and uh, also flip to get more damage. It's pretty good. So here we have Thundershock for 10. Flip a coin. Peds your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Then we've got Thunder Punch for 30 plus. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 10 more damage. If tails, this, this Pokemon does 10 damage to itself. Then it says, it loves to feed on strong electricity. It occasionally appears around large power plants and so on. Reverse Hollow Tangela, which is a common. Oh, and our rare here is a Farfetched. 70 HP, we've got Leak Slap for 50, compared to the original 30. This Pokemon can't use Leak Slap during your next turn. That's okay, it gives you time to power up a Pot Smash for 50. It always walks around with a plant stalk clamped in its beak. The stalk is used for building its nest. So, not the best rare, but that's alright. Coughing, 60 HP. Got foul gas as its attack for 10 damage. Flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. If tails your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. So either way, you're getting something good, some good effect. Its thin balloon-like body is inflated by horribly toxic gases. It reeks when it's nearby. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> Do you remember in the original, like, uh? video games where this symbol was actually like on top of its head in the sprite or in, yeah not in the like tiny sprite but like the actual battling sprite it's kind of interesting how they quickly changed some of the design elements between the uh, games and uh, the cards being released ah and instead of professor oak this time we have professor oak's hint support a card draw cards until you have seven cards in your hand your turn ends Originally, you had to discard your entire hand, and then you could draw seven as well. And we've got Metapod. 70 HP. First attack here is Stiffen. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 40. After applying weakness and resistance, resistance, bleh. Got Stun Spore here for 20. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. And here, even though it is encased in a sturdy shell, the body inside is tender. It can't withstand a harsh attack. Okay, and here is the TCG. Ooh, the third online TCG code. Let me know if you get something good. So this is number three if you decide to take that. Let me know if you took it. Or I guess let other people who are trying to get them know. So we've got three more. I think we should save the Raichu for last. Let's go for the next Charizard. Oh, and what do you know? There's a Raichu on the inside. Ooh, I kind of want to write you too. <laughs> so here we're starting out with darkness energy. Pokemon in this pack is a Magikarp. Sad and pathetic. A Weedle. Slightly less pathetic with the horn and the poison and all. Electabuzz. Definitely not pathetic. Ooh, and a Drowsy. Slightly less creepy than the last Drowsy we've encountered on here. The one 
You know the one. <laughs> then Drowsy's got 60 HP here with Pound for 10 and Confuse Ray for 10. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. A descendant of the legendary animal Bapu, which is said to eat dreams. It is skilled at hypnotism. Isn't it interesting when they um, reference other Pokemon, or I mean other animals that are not Pokemon in the Pokemon universe? It's kind of weird. Oh, cool. Our reverse hollow rare, or er, reverse hollow here is an uncommon instead of just the common. We've got Nidorino. Shiny, shiny. 90 HP, Horn Attack for 20, and Fury Attack 30 times. Flip 3 coins. This attack does 10 damage times the number of heads. I believe originally it was Double Kick. Don't quote me on that. It is easily angered. By swinging its well-developed horn wildly, it can even punch through Diamond. Wow. That's intense. And are we ready for the next... The next uh, good one here, what'll it be? Pidgeotti X! Cool. So, we've got uh, two EXs here in this so far. Pidgeot EX has 170 HP. Nice rainbow shine to it. Which makes sense because we have a mirror move here. If this Pokemon was damaged by an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does the same amount of damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Feather Lance for 80. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for the benched Pokemon. So that's not a terribly strong attack, actually, but I guess you can, you know, in only two moves with a double colorless factored in, power him up. Hmm. Hey, that's okay. It's still an EX, though, right? Professor Oak's hint. Draw cards until you have seven cards in your hand. Your turn ends. And another Metapod. Oh, and Devolution Spray. Devolve one of your evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolution card on it into your hand. That Pokemon can't evolve this turn. Interesting. I always wondered why there wasn't uh, this tool in the actual games, you know? And this would be number four for the online TCG code. Good luck. Hope you get something good. And we've got two left. Continuing with our Charizard cover, artwork, pack, theme. <laughs> What do you think? Will, will we be able to get a Charizard uh, from this or any of the original three? I don't know. But, uh, now that I know that I can just get some uh, single packs like this locally, <laughs> uh, it's going to be hard not to just get a couple every now and then. The bigger boxes seem like kind of an investment, and like once I've already opened up like one Elite Trainer box or like one such and such set on my channel, it seems kind of silly to do a second one, but... I guess with single packs, it's not quite the same, or like, I guess it wouldn't feel quite as silly doing multiple uh, pack openings. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but yeah. What I'm trying to say is it's going to be hard not to do this again. <laughs> so here we have Ghastly, 40 HP, and Little Grudge. He did not have that last time. <laughs> During your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack, discard an energy attached to the attacking Pokemon. And he also did not have Nightmare. I'm like 99% sure. 20 damage. Flip coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. 
a being that exists as thin gas. It can topple an Indian elephant by enveloping the prey in two seconds. What? That's the first time I've uh, heard of that. Okay. Interesting. Oh. I see something shiny. We'll be patient. But yeah, he's all CG style. So we've got Diglett, 40 HP, with two attacks that it did not have last time. I think last time it just had Scratch and Mud Slap. This ability is Submerge. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks, both yours and your opponent's. And we've got Dig Through. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bent Pokemon. Hmm. Okay. Instead of the uh, active. Cool. It burrows through the ground at a shallow depth. It leaves raised earth in its wake, making it easy to spot. And, uh, also CG. You can see, even though it's CG, the, like, texture that this Diglett has. I guess nowadays you just see it as, like, I don't know, like a flat brown? You don't really think that he has hairs. But yeah, this was one of the first cards I ever got. I believe it was in the first pack that I ever bought. Actually, if I try to think about it, I could probably come up with <laughs> all of the cards I got in my first pack. There was definitely a Starmie, and like, yeah, I could probably probably recreate that pack sometime. That might be cool. Rattata, 40 HP instead of 30. We've got Mischievous Fang, which was it definitely did not have before because it referenced a Pokemon tool card. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, and this time its bite only does 10 damage. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so it gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. No, how cute! We got a Charmander! <laughs> I always liked this uh, artwork because he's like accidentally set uh, it on fire. Also, he looks like a bit more of like a dragon lizard than a recent art of him. He's got like a longer snout and more like an animal style eye compared to like the uh, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but I think you can tell what I mean. Plus the claws. So this Charmander has 60 HP instead of 40. We've got Scratch for 10 and Ember for 30. Discard Fire Energy attached to this Pokemon. From the time it's born, a flame burns at the tip of its tail. Its life would end if the flame were to go out. I think we all remember that episode, don't we? Psychic Energy. And our reverse holo here is a Metapod. Uncommon, so better than just a common. And any guesses? Any guesses what, what we've got underneath here? Huh? Huh? Let's see. Dun 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 dun. Mega Blastoise EX! Whoa! Awesome! I wanted a Blastoise EX so bad, and now I have a Mega one! Cool! Awesome! So, this Mega Blastoise EX has 220 HP! Whoa! Hydro Bombardo. Hydro Bombard for 120 damage. This attack does 30 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Wow. Don't apply weakness and resistance for the benched Pokemon. Nice! Very cool. Very cool. Wow. Look at the detail there. Of it coming out of the cannons, the water. I also like how they kind of extended his ears to like, like that. Except I was kind of expecting more like fangs or teeth or something. His mouth looks kind of empty. <laughs> Woohoo! What an awesome card! Dun dun dun, you get to go back here. Now we've got Brock's Grit, <laughs> and uh, his hand always cracked me up there. Like, what are, what are his fingers doing? They're so... I don't know. 
Shuffle six and any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Another Professor Oak. And another Metapod. So we got a regular Metapod and a reverse hollow Metapod in this pack. Well, not a bad pack if I say so myself. And here we have the fifth online TCG code. Best of luck, whoever gets this one. I'm always interested to see if you guys get anything good, so do let me know in the comments. And here we have our final pack of the night. This is the Raichu pack. And I don't know if we can get any luckier than we already have. Three EXs and five packs. Like, what? And a Mewtwo? But let's see. Let's see if we can get anything else. I mean, we'll get something else, but not sure how how good. Ooh, I'm kind of like ripping Raichu in half. I'm sorry, Raichu. Don't be mad. Our last pack of the day. Got a Mega Venusaur on the cover. Come on, Venusaur, give us something good. We've got no Blastoise. Can we get a Venusaur or Charizard? I don't know. So here we have Seal to start off this last pack. 80 HP and sit. I see Shine. Are you kidding me? Wow. I wasn't even trying to like be sneaky, but I just see like this faint hint of Shine. <laughs> All right. So uh, this Seal now has Growl in addition to Headbutt. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done by attacks from the defending Pokemon is reduced by 20 after applying weakness and resistance. The resistance. Can't even talk because I'm excited about that one. Headbutt for 20. Covered with light blue fur, its hide is thick and tough. It is active in the bitter cold of negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Good job, Seal. Got another Charmander here. Super cute. Diglett. Drowsy. Definitely doubling up at this point. Little Caterpie. Reverse Hollow Ghastly. And. Was it gonna be? It's another Mega Mega Blast Toy CX. <laughs> I mean, I must say, he is uh, my favorite one, and uh, the cards definitely listen. <laughs> oh wow, that's awesome! Check it out. Double Mega Blast Toy CX. So. Uh, do you think I should make a deck with these guys? <laughs> I mean, I kind of have to now, right? Oh yeah, and this is number 22 out of 108. <laughs> wow, can you believe my luck? This is crazy. And I want to stress that these packs were not weighed. The dude at Barnes & Noble just kind of like picked six out and gave them to me. So I, I have no idea. Maybe this is a really easy set to pull from, but uh, wow, crazy. Potion. Slightly less uh, exciting, but uh, there we go. Oh, and a Magmar. I do like Magmar. 80 HP, Fire Punch for 30, and Flamethrower for 60. Wow. Discard a Fire Energy card attached to this Pokemon. Found near the mouth of a volcano, this Fire Breather's body temperature is nearly 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs>
And last up we have a Venusaur Spirit Link. So I did get the uh, Mega Pidgeot, Pidgeot uh, Spirit Link, but I did not get a Venusaur to match with this Venusaur Spirit Link. Your turn does not end if the Pokemon this card is attached to becomes Mega Venusaur EX. I do like this artwork though with the petals falling. It's pretty cool. And here is number six, the sixth Pokemon TCG Online code card. Hope you have a fraction of the luck that I got today. This is crazy. Let's um, review these, shall we? Um, in case you forgot, we pulled two Mega Blastoise EX, Ghastly Reverse, Metapod Reverse, Pidgeot EX, no Mega Pidgeot EX, but still a Pidgeot EX, Nidorino Reverse Hollow, Farfetch'd, which was just a regular rare. Far the Farfetch'd was the only one that I was kind of like womp womp in this pack. But I mean, <laughs> we also got a Tangela and a Mewtwo. I mean, sure, these were just regular rares instead of non-hollows, but come on, Mewtwo? Growlithe? Dragonite EX? Like what? Wow. And Pidgeot Spirit Link, which, you know, goes with this guy, so that's cool. Like. Not to exclude Farfetch'd, but how did this come out <laughs> of just six packs? I don't understand. <laughs> oh man. They must have must have known I was buying these as a early birthday gift to myself. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Oh man. So uh it's gonna be really hard to avoid buying a couple uh loose packs every time I go by the store now <laughs> especially because they're only like four dollars but um yeah i'll have to try my luck again sometime with these because i mean obviously we got to get the other starters right right <laughs> all right well i uh, hope you enjoyed seeing my pulls today as much as i enjoyed getting them and uh you kind of know the drill by now uh just gonna make some ASMR type noises with the card shuffling and the package rustling and stuff uh, to end out the video. Hope you enjoyed watching and uh, see you in my next video. Bye! Or good night or you know if, if you made it this far and they're still awake, good job. <laughs> Used to getting comments that say, oh I had to watch this two or three times because I kept falling asleep. But yeah. Alright, good night for real.